You are in the temple of the rants where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Scroy, who says, Rant about games as an art form. How do you think it can serve as a better form of expression than other mediums? And is there anything you want to create specifically in a form of a game? Well, there's a lot of stuff games can do that other mediums can't. The fact that they are interactive in such a big way obviously, you know, lends a lot to the experience. I think that one of the thing games, things that games are best at is uh, kinesthetic expression. Feeling of movement, feeling of being in the environment, the connectivity that you develop towards a game by, you know, the one-to-one -one control of, you know, feeling on some level that you are the protagonist, that you have this uh, innate connection to them. And um, all the ways that that allows you to participate in the storytelling experience. I think of something like uh, Dark Souls being one of my favorite examples of a game that uses the player experience in the narrative. And I, I was just talking about this in one of my other uh, rants, that part of the theme of the game is the idea of going hollow. That, you know, when you give up on your journey because you've been beaten down too much and you lose hope, you go hollow and become a zombie. And that's literally represented in when you stop playing the game. If you give up, if you can't beat it, you eventually have gone hollow like any of the other, you know, lost souls that you're traveling alongside. So, like, that lends an element of participation into the narrative that you can't get from something else where you could, you could have someone talk about that idea, but when you experience it as a player, when you yourself go hollow in the game... That is a very unique experience, you know? Um, and also the sensation of the catharsis of victory when you do beat things. Like, you know, it's one thing to watch a character accomplish their goals. It's another thing for you to accomplish your goal along with the character in tandem with each other. And games that capitalize on that well, you know, if you've never seen... Ego Raptor's Mega Man X video where he talks about it happens directly to you. You are the one who gets, you know, who's powerless in the face of this guy. You collect all the upgrades. You become strong enough to beat that guy later. So, you know, you, even though in, in the context of what's happening in the game, it's happening to X, you experience it alongside him. So you connect with the character because it basically is you um, on some level. So, you know, that's... All stuff that's pretty unique to games. But there's there's a lot more that games can do that I think hasn't really been explored all that well. Um, just the density of what you can do in a game. Like, I, I like the idea, for instance, of, like, walking simulator games. And, like, I don't particularly like any of the ones that exist. But a game like Gone Home, which I think the writing is cheesy as fuck and the voice acting is terrible, but, like... The idea of the game is super interesting, that you're just, like, in a realistic house full of detail trying to piece something together, you know, taking your own time through the environment, observing all these things with your own, you know, eyes, and, like, basically piecing the narrative together as you experience it. It's like you, you feel as though you are a detective rather than watching a detective solve something, you know, um... Again, those are unique things to video games, and there's there's a ton of shit that we could do with the medium, exploring those kinds of ideas. Uh, but, you know, uh, video games take a lot to craft, and I think that it's getting easier and easier. Um, you know, consult the I Am Games channel, where Tom posts stuff about, like, easy intro to game dev stuff that he's learning along his way to, to learning how to do it. But um, for me, I'm most interested in multimedia projects. Like, if I were to work on something games-related, it would not be a game, per se. It would be games integrated into something Homestuck-style. Like, where Homestuck could be called a webcomic, but, like, there's parts where you're playing an adventure game for an hour or watching a 15-minute animated movie, you know? Like, it's a multimedia experience all in service of telling the same story. I would want to do something like that, but less in order. I had this idea last year for a um, an experience where it would be like a story about a town that has 128 or something like that people in it, and 
um, each one of those people has their own story that's in a different media form. So, like, in order to get the full picture of it, there would be, you know, maybe you play a game as one character and you, you learn a little story about them, and then you read a comic about another character, you listen to a song about another character, read a web page written by another character, you know, all in service of just crafting this from as many different angles and dimensions as possible. And so, like, if I was going to work on games, I would do it as part of that and figure out, like, you know, what different ways can I use games to tell smaller stories inside of a bigger story that is alongside all these other forms. I think that's the best way, really, to utilize the maximum potential of each of those mediums because um, I think too many people constrict themselves into the box of, like, let's say I'm going to write a novel. Well, like... There's certain things that novels can do extremely well in telling a story and other things that are better experienced visually. Why not both? Why not go from, you know, text segments for the parts that are best represented by text into film segments for the parts that are best represented by film, etc. Um, you know, I think I would like to see more video games that instead of being like... Like, I guess with games... It's easy enough to incorporate those other elements where, like, you can have literal text writing, you can have movies inside of the game disc as part of the experience, um, and some games have done that in interesting ways, uh, but, you know, I, I feel like there's too many games that, that sequester these into segments without thinking about, like... It's not so much a matter of like, oh, this would be best as a game, this would be best as a cutscene. It's more like, um, like this is what the gameplay is, and anything that can't be done with that set of systems will be a cutscene. When realistically, you could have different types of game in the service of this continual story. I think a lot of modern games are kind of touching on that with all their scripted sequence type shit, but like... Um, you know, they're always doing it just for, like, a, a burst of excitement rather than, uh, consideration. I guess, a uh, Nier would be a good example of a game that does it extremely well. Like, Nier Automata or something is a game that will completely switch styles for different parts because it's thinking about, like, okay, well, here's what's happening in the narrative. What gameplay style will best reflect this particular moment in the narrative? Um, so maybe games are doing perfectly fine. I guess Nier is already pushing the envelope. I gotta fucking make a video about Nier Automata and play through the whole goddamn thing.